Hi, I'm Gordon from the Data School, Cohort 20 at the Information Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a radar chart. So the radar chart is made up of several axes that radiate outwards, like spokes of a wheel. And it can be a really interesting way to make patterns in your data stand out. The chart can, however, be difficult to interpret accurately. So I would generally use it for a more qualitative comparison. But let's see how to build one in Tableau. So for this radar chart, I'm going to use the sample superstore, and I'm going to look at the sum of sales across the months of the year, which will form the axes or spokes of our chart. And for ease, I've just created a calculation for our month, which is the date name month of order date. And then the chart itself is constructed from four calculations. The first one is our angle calculation, which divides up the circle into 12 parts for our 12 months. So I'll create a calculated field called angle. And this will be the running sum of 2 pi. And this is divided by the minimum of the count distinct of our month. And this should be in curly brackets. And then at the end here, we're going to add on pi over two. And all of this just basically takes a circle, which is 360 degrees or two pi radians, divides it into 12 parts, which is the count distinct of months, and adds on 90 degrees to orientate December towards the top. Then we'll make a second calculation called distance from the center. And this will simply be the sum of sales. OK. And then we'll make two final calculations for our x and y axes. So first of all, the x. This is going to be the distance from the center multiplied by the cosine of our angle calculation. And similarly, for the y-axis, this is going to be the distance from the center calculation multiplied by the sine of our angle calculation. And then to build the chart, we'll drag month and our angle calculation onto detail. And first of all, we'll need to set the running sum table calculation from within the angle calc to calculate by our month dimension. From there, we can drag our x and our y calculations onto columns and rows. And we can already begin to see our radar chart taking shape. Next, we have to change the chart type to polygon. And then we have to tell Tableau to draw our polygon according to our angle calculation. And we can do this by changing the angle calculation to path. And now we have our correctly constructed polygon. And to finish off, I'm going to split this into a polygon for each year within our data set. I'm going to fix the axes so that they're all equal at, a, at 120,000 dollars, which is our sum of sales. So minus 120k, 120k. I'm going to decrease the opacity a bit, change the border color to white. And I'm going to clear up these tooltips a bit to make them make sense. So I'll drag our sum of sales into the tooltip. And there we and actually one final thing. I'm going to edit our angle calculation so that we have the minus running sum. And this will make our months run around clockwise in the way that we're used to viewing them. And there we have our radar chart. Thanks for watching. I hope you now feel super confident in making radar charts yourself. Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to additional material. And if you enjoyed this, also make sure to check out the video on sunburst charts made by my colleague Luke.
by clicking on the link on the screen.